Sí. Uh, there was a successful burglary at the Denver U.S. Mint. Uh, there was a robbery December 18, 1922. Five men hijacked a Federal Reserve Bank delivery truck outside the U.S. Mint in uh, Denver, Colorado. And uh, at the time of the robbery, the truck was being loaded with $200,000. In five dollar bills. Now I walk around with five dollar bills, but not two hundred thousand dollars worth. Can you imagine how, how many pockets, of how many trousers it would take to stuff two hundred thousand dollars worth of five dollar bills? And a black Buick touring car pulled up. Two men jumped out, firing sawed off shotguns. A third man grabbed the money bags. U.S. Mint police officers inside the Mint quickly responded by returning fire. Uh, one of the robbers was said to have taken a shotgun round in the jaw. The gang, however, had already made their getaway. None of the gunmen were ever identified, with the exception of 36-year-old Nicholas uh, Trainer who was killed during the shootout. And the case remains unsolved to this day. So people will do anything for money, including human trafficking, which is a heinous crime that involves the exploitation of people for forced labor, for sexual slavery, for commercial sexual exploitation, there are 24.9 million victims worldwide, 20% of them being children from all age groups, all backgrounds, all nationalities, every country, every region, uh, even across the borders. And we have a porous border, of course, the southern border of the United States, where these traffickers are freely moving around and we need to think about this because this is um, something that's going on right now. And uh, when you look at the Bible, the story of Joseph ben Yaakov in the book of Genesis, starting chapter 37, it's actually a story of human trafficking. He was sold. And... Uh, we need to, to think about, about that. We need to think about uh, how he is also a type of Moshek ben Dovid. Uh, yes, uh, he's uh, ben Dovid, but in a, in a sense, in a typological sense, he is, he is ben Yosef. Not the way the Talmud twists it around, but the way the Bible uh, makes it. Yosef Chai, he's alive, the goal of his people, sold for silver, stripped of clothing, bound and imprisoned, offering forgiveness and reconciliation, not recognized by his own people, and then finally recognized. Uh, the Roe, the shepherd, beloved of his father, as the Atik Yomin loves the Bar Enosh, who comes on the glory cloud, uh, who is the revealer of secrets. Yosef Chai, he's alive. Psalm 1610. These are some of the parallels, which are in the scriptures, which are much more exciting than rabbinic uh, opinionation. Yehi Adonenu, Yehi Adonenu, Morenu, Verabenu, Melech Hamashiach, Leolam Vaed. When Bathsheba says this, uh, the typological foreshadow points toward Moshiach ben David. 
and not some dead and buried local rabbi. My dear friend, don't be taken as merchandise. Don't, uh, do you not understand what the scriptures say? Uh, we're talking about Colossians. We're talking about we're talking about uh, being being made merchandise. What a what a terrible thing that uh, someone can be made merchandise like a human being being trafficked. It says, Arur asher lo yakim es divrei ha-Torah hazot la-asot otam va-amar kol ha-am omein. Cursed is everyone who does not uphold all the words of this Torah to do them. And all the people said, omein. Make sure no one makes merchandise of you with any human philosophy, any Tanya, any... Listen, there is human trafficking. There is horror for the whole human race and the fact that we have been sold into sin. And, and King David tells you this. Now, if you want to take a rabbi's opinion over his, you can. But he says, Ubahet Yahemati Imi. In sin did my mother conceive me. I was a sinner from conception. I was born, sold under sin. We're talking about Het Kadmon. To purchase, uh, you know, to be sold under sin. It's found in Romans 7, 14. It, it is part of the passage where the Shaliach discusses the struggle with sin. We know that the Torah is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. This expression conveys the idea of being under the human trafficking power or dominion of sin, being in a state of bondage to uh, slave master Het, who is your, your human trafficker, and being under this control. And this is the pervasive and enslaving nature of sin. Not just the sin that you do, but the sin that you are. And the only deliverance or redemption, the only one who can purchase your redemption from the slave tra trafficker is Rebbe Melech HaMoshiach. And we're not talking about some local rabbi. We're talking about the Bar Enosh. We're talking about the one, uh, Daniel, the prophet, the, the Navi, the one he spoke of. The phrase soul under sin is often interpreted as highlighting the universal human condition of being unable to free oneself from the human trafficking power of sin without the, without the intervention of a rescuer or, or savior or goal redeemer who ransoms you and purchases you. And that ransom process is described in Isaiah 53, and it links to Isaiah chapter 11, verse 10, where the same words, Shoresh, etc., show that it is a Davidic rescuer, not the not, not the nation of Israel. He, that is, the one in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 10, the Shoresh Yishai, he was cut off out of the land of the living. He died for the transgression of my people. Not my people died for my people. That's an error in the Talmud that says, may my sins make atonement for my 
for my uh, may my death make atonement for my sins. In Sanhedrin, that's an error. And the people who rescue victims of human trafficking, uh, they they free victims. They are referred to as rescuers or anti-trafficking activists or advocates. Uh, and they have a very important role to play, assisting, identifying, advocating for the victims. And I'm talking about a, an airline hostess who's walking up the aisle and she sees a very well-dressed man, an older man with a very shabbily dressed little girl. And she stops and starts to interview them. And the very well-dressed man becomes extremely nervous. And the pilot tips off ground control and the police are waiting when they come off the uh, plane. If you're giving people philosophy or Tanya instead of the Basiris Hagealah of the scriptures with the true Rebbe Melech HaMoshiach ra uh, rescuer, then my friend, you are, are no more than a human trafficker. You, you, you are merchant, you're making merchandise of people. You're not a shaliach of the true Rebbe Melech HaMoshiach. Look at the Orthodox Jewish Bible. It says, therefore, as you became Mechabel Moshiach and received Moshiach Adonainu, it says, let your halacha be in him. You know, it says, beware lest there be any one of you taken captive made merchandise of through philosophical tevuna wisdom and empty deceit according to the Kabbalah of Mir B'nai Adam. You know, you, you might find words in the Torah, which we would agree with, but, but then if you twist those words, and give people a bunch of hot air and rabbinic hot wind, and you don't give them the truth, then, my friend, you are making merchandise of people. We're talking about Ribi Melik Hamoshiach and philosophy. We're talking about the scriptures. We're talking about Yahi. It says Yod Het uh, Yod Het Yod. The Yahi. Yahi Adonenu Marenu Barabenu Melakamoshiak Olam Bayed. It's a phrase in the Torah. It belongs to Messianic Judaism. It doesn't belong to anybody else. He is, it means may, may our, our master teacher and Ribi long live. And he did. He stood up alive from the dead. The wife of the, of the king said this. And we who are Kedoshim, we are his Kalah. Read the book of Revelation, and we say this because we know he's alive. And this is what the scriptures teach. We don't make merchandise of people by teaching something else. And I want to pray right now. Yehi Harab. Harabi Melek Hamoshiach. Yehi Haribi Melek Hamoshiach. That people will turn to the truth and stop making merchandise of people by giving them a false Masurus Hageola and false 
tikva or false hope and false doctrine not rooted and grounded in the inerrant scriptures and that we will say Yosef Chai, Moshiach Chai, Ribi Melech HaMoshiach Chai. And we will cry out to God to rescue us from the Het Kadmon being sold under sin that is true, that David believed in. A sinner from conception. That's what he said he was. And that's why he needed a, a uh, creationary miracle. Bara created me a lev tahor, a clean heart. A ruach nahon, an upright spirit. He wanted regeneration. He'd had shoot. He wanted the true Ben Dovid, whose body did not see Shahat, not some imposter moldering in the grave in Omont Fiori Cemetery, but the real Mashiach, the real rescuer, who can rescue every mortal soul in the world caught in the web of human trafficking, where we're sold under sin. And we need a redeemer, a goal redeemer to ransom us, just as Boaz ransomed the 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 uh, young woman, the Nara, the Nara. I'm sorry, Nara. He doesn't call her Alma. She's not a young unmarried virgin. She's a formerly married widow. And there's a word for that. It doesn't say the, the Nara will conceive and bear a son and call his name Emmanuel. Well, you have to study the scriptures, my friend, not philosophy drummed up by mere dying, sinning uh, rabbinic uh, teachers. Well, Sheikh Ben Dovid, come into my heart. Forgive my sins. Take control of my life. And I will serve you and follow you all the days of my life. And everybody said, Amen.